Hello and welcome to Horror Monster Collectibles where today we're going to be going over the repaint that I did for this classic piece, the Sideshow Tremors Grad Boyd. Now I love this piece, many 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 people love this piece, it is a classic piece, but I was never happy with the paintwork on the mouth, uh, especially uh, since they had put um, like a gloss coating over the black teeth and over time it had dripped down and yellowed and uh, overall the paint depth inside the mouth was lacking for me anyway so i wanted to touch it up and uh so i went about that and i'm pretty happy with the end results uh, it was kind of a pain in the butt to get in there and work around everything but uh again i'm pretty happy with the way it came out and it looks a lot closer to the movie in my opinion so i will show you the process that i did to get here and then we'll take a closer look at the graboid all right guys, so I'm starting painting this Graboid here and uh, I've noticed that what I thought was glue here for the teeth is actually a gloss coating that they put on there that has run down over the years. So I'm gonna remove what I can, paint over top of the rest. Uh, again, the mouth is just too pink and then some of the vein work on here obviously is pretty sketchy. So we're gonna redo the pink part of the mouth get it more of a pinkish red and then add some decent vein work and shading in here uh, i was pretty happy with the tentacle color so i have those guys wrapped up here to not get paint on them uh, i gotta mix up some colors because i don't have the pinkish red that i want to use as my main color so i'm going to start with uh, a mix of true red saffron and pure white and see if I can come up with a tone that I like. All right, so I've got a pretty decent mix going on in here with those three colors. <clears throat> and I had to go a little bit darker with the base coat than I wanted to just to cover up a lot of the blemishes and the mistakes on here. So this is the way it is now. I will go in with some dark yellows and even some dark reds and kind of break up the color a little bit more and then some shading and some veining all right so i went through here and i added some lighter shades of flesh and some yellows in there and i think what i will try and tackle now is doing some vein work the only problem here is that i have the tentacles that are in my way so I will do my best to work around them but I don't know how much of a pain in the butt that's going to be to do that. We will see how it goes. So I took a little bit of break on this. I'm back at it uh, starting on the vein work which I have in here and I settled on a transparent blood red uh, for, from Garage Kits. It seems to do pretty well for vein work. Again we're not laying anything heavy on here uh, just so it looks like it's underneath the flesh and uh, I'm just going to go through here finish it out uh, there's, it's not scientific I'm just kind of going where I feel it needs to go and uh, so it's a bit abstract the only thing that's really bothering me though is that these grabbers the tentacle grabbers are in the way of me painting this stuff up before this is painted at the factory or before these are applied in the factory, it's painted up, so it's not in the way of people painting it. Unfortunately for me, they're already in there and they are directly in my way, so having to work around them with an airbrush is proving to be a pain in the butt, but I will continue on. All right, so right now I'm pretty happy with the pigments I have in the flesh. I want to go ahead and kind of smooth this line out that they have where the flesh meets the mandibles. I'm going to use a uh, transparent neutral gray um, to kind of color match what they have going on here and fade that in. I also want to add shading down in here uh, in the crevices of the mouth. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I don't know if I can do any of this on camera, but we will see how it goes. I'm just coming through here just lightly lightly blending that line I don't want to go too hard on this 
at all. But just not make it, goal is to make it not such a dramatic cut off. Like so. And then what we'll do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and get down in there and do all that for you. All right guys, so I've gone through here and I ad added the shading inside. Um, and then reestablished the black spots on the lower mandibles. I had to take the cover off of these guys just to get in there and do the shading. Um, and I noticed when I did that I have some spots inside this jaw like down in here where I need to touch up. I'm gonna have to get in there with a brush to do that. So I'll do that and then I'm gonna just take a gloss black over the teeth and paint all the teeth black and then add a gloss coat to all of the inside of the mouth to make it nice and wet. All right, so I finally got all of the black teeth painted and that was just a really, really royal pain in the ass to get accomplished. But they're done and it's time to put a gloss coat on everything. And typically I really like the Rust-Oleum Triple Thick. It's super, super glossy and creates nice depth, but I have to do a controlled spray in here so I don't get like the mandibles glossy. So I think I'm going to do the Garage Kit Gloss Top Coat and just use the airbrush to get in there for that. Alright, so I've got the gloss coat in the mouth and I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking. Um, one thing I have left to do is hit these little guys with gloss uh, that are kind of out on the outside of the mandibles and one thing that I do to hit these little hot spots with a nice thick gloss is I use a uh, nail polish top coat it works great for laying stuff over on top of this in a controlled setting so I'm gonna do that and then we're done all right so here is the final product and I don't think the video is really showing all of the colors in here. Unfortunately, they're kind of all muted out, but hopefully you can see all the vein work in here and all of the different colors that I put in um, to kind of duplicate what is seen on film. And man, it was such a pain in the butt to work around the grabbers. But the end result, even though it was a pain in the butt, I am very, very happy with. And I feel like this really, really looks the part a whole lot better than what it did before anyway. And hopefully you guys agree with that. All right guys, so that's about all there is to go over on this Graboid. Um, I will leave you guys with some studio shots. Uh, if you are one of the hundred of us that have this piece and you want to rework it, feel free to leave a comment and I will um, help you out with any questions that you might have. Uh, again, it is a pain in the butt to get down in there and get to some of that detailing, but I feel like in the end it is worth it. Uh, obviously, if I had my druthers, I would have removed the grabbers out of there and just been able to work freely on the inside of the mouth. But unfortunately, having to work around them just really took way, way longer than I had hoped it would. So as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments that you might have, and I'll be happy to answer them. And feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And until next time. I will see you guys later.